Oluchi was always getting sad and skinny due to her problems. Sometimes when her siblings come to visit her, they would ask her why she's not getting fat but skinny. As in, she was living with a rich family, so why was she getting skinny? Upon all the whole food you are eating, you are still skinny, her siblings would always say. But eating food without a rest of mind was a waste of time. It wasn't about the food. None of her siblings noticed Olushi was pregnant because her auntie would always want her to wear loose and baggy dresses to cover her pregnancy. Mentally, Olushi was dying in pain. There was no one to help her. Her uncle kept sleeping with her even in her current situation. Whenever he leave for work with his wife, he would usually drop his wife at a supermarket and sneak back to the house just to sleep with Olushi. When Oluchi was four months gone, her auntie decided to call Olushi's elder siblings to inform them that Olushi got pregnant and that her gate man was responsible and also told them how Oluchi was stubborn and had been sleeping around upon all her warnings and training. Her elder siblings believed her auntie and took sides with her in insulting and blaming Olushi, saying she deserved everything that came on her. No one listened or Lushi or heard her cry. She will mostly stay isolated in her corner, praying to God to let her suffering end. She usually cry every night to her dead mother, saying this with tears flowing down her cheeks. Mother, please, where are you? Your daughter is in pain. I have no one to fight for me. Please rise up and save me. One fateful day after her uncle slept with her and left back to his workplace, Olushi felt pain at her abdomen and waist. She didn't even know anything about childbirth, so she just endured the pain without complaining to her auntie. In her mind, she thought the pain was from what her uncle did to her earlier, so she moved around the house till her water broke. That was when Olushi quickly called her auntie. Her auntie quickly rushed home and took Olushi to the hospital. When they got to the hospital, the doctor told them they were lucky to have got there earlier. After a short time, Oluchi gave birth to a bouncy baby boy. Oluchi became sad and happy at the same time. She was in dilemma because she didn't know what awaited her in the house. The day Oluchi was discharged, she felt sad to go back to the house, so she started crying, even though the nurses tried to know why she was in tears, but she only sat there silent without saying anything. When they got home from the hospital, everyone was happy that a new baby was born except Oluchi. While everyone was happy and trying to touch and see the baby, Oluchi was far and didn't even want to touch her own baby. Days after Oluchi was discharged from the hospital, her worst nightmare began. Her uncle kept sneaking into her room again to sleep with Oluchi, even though she usually complains of pains. So different thoughts started coming to her mind, and finally she decided to run. Oluchi ran back to her father, who left them and their mother, and went and got married to a rich widow in a different town. When she got to her father's place, he was surprised to see Oluchi. Oluchi tried to explain everything to her father, but he wouldn't listen, although she didn't go straight to her point. Her father told Oluchi that she must go back and stay with her auntie because his wife won't agree for her to stay with them. But Oluchi begged and begged her father, who finally agreed. Oluchi stayed with her father for like one week. During her time staying with her father, she decided to go and visit one of her elder sisters, who also lives in that town. When she got to her elder sister's house, she told her elder sister about everything that auntie's husband had been doing to her. But her elder sister never believed. She told Oluki to shut up. Oluchi, you are lying. That is how you go about spoiling your uncle's name, ungrateful child, Oluchi's sister said. After sleeping around with different men, you are now saying it's your uncle who had been sleeping with you, her sister kept saying. So after that day, Olushi was taken back to her elder sister's house, and this time around, it got worse for Olushi. Her auntie started to hate her for running and spreading lies about her husband, so she started treating her badly and saying, Olushi wants to destroy her marriage. Oluchi uncle kept sleeping with her more than he used to, and the only thing Oluchi could do 
is to cry every day and didn't even want to feed her child. One day, Oluchi got tired of the pain, shame, molestation and suffering. So she ran out of the house into the street, leaving her baby behind, where her auntie and uncle won't see her. She started sleeping at lorry stations, market areas and parks. Because Oluchi left the house with no money or food, she started looking for a job in order to get money and feed on. Upon days of searching, she luckily found a job at a restaurant where there was accommodation and feeding for the workers. She became so excited and the only words that came out of her mouth was, thank you God, thank you for giving me this job. So she started work the next day. She worked effortlessly with smile on her face that people that came there to eat liked how she worked. Months passed and Olushi still kept her all into her work always trying very hard to forget her past. Then one day when she was at the counter, a young man who came to the restaurant to eat spotted her at the corner, being sad and not concentrating. So he moved to her and started to talk to her. But Olushi just kept smiling and said nothing. So the young man stayed till Olushi closed from work. Then he drove his car towards Olushi and stood to talk to her. You again? Olushi asked. But the young man said he only wanted them to have a chat, but Oluchi was scared to get involved with anyone, so she asked him to go and leave her alone. But the young man insisted, so they finally sat down close to the restaurant and chat for a long time. So the young man was always at the restaurant to see Oluchi as if he had no work doing. He usually come to the restaurant every evening to chat with Oluchi. So they both got found of each other and the young man asked her to be his girlfriend, which she said yes to him, even though Oluchi was insecure and scared of rejections. She shared her sad and terrible story about how her auntie and uncle treated her to the young man. She shared her story with tears flowing down her eyes. While Oluchi share, had shared her story, the young man couldn't believe his eyes. He couldn't believe how people could be this wicked. He sat there, sad and trying very hard to hold his tears from dropping. So the young man consoled and comforted her with words of encouragement and hope. They sat there till it was getting late. Then the young man goodbye her and left to his house. Even though Jide always tried inviting Olushi to his house, she usually declined the offer because she was very scared to go to a man's house. But one particular day, she decided to go and visit Jide. So he came one Saturday morning and picked Olushi with his car to his house. When she got there, she couldn't believe her eyes. She kept saying this in her head. Wow. Oh, wow. This house is so beautiful. Jade then offered her a seat and asked his house help to serve her some refreshments while the chat in his living room all this time, Oluchi was busily looking at the beautiful house and admiring it. That was when he released Jide was a very wealthy man. These two later became lovebirds and their love knew no bond. Oluchi later went back to continue her tertiary education to study medicine. A year later, Jid and Oluki got married while she was still in school. After school, Olushi came out with a first-class honor and was lucky to find a job in one reputable hospital. One day, while Olushi was going for her ward rounds, she was called to come and attend to an emergency. Immediately, Olushi entered the room. She couldn't believe what she saw. It was her uncle who was laying helplessly on the bed with stroke. When she saw him, she froze and was in shock. She just stood there not knowing what to do, so she left in a hurry back to her office without attending to her uncle. Meanwhile, there was a young boy about the age of eight sitting close to her uncle with a sad face crying and begging Olushi to take care of him. But Olushi just looked at the boy and walked away. When she got to her office, she bent her head down and wept her eyes out. She then paused and thought for some time. She was in a dilemma as to if she should leave him to die or take care of him. After battling for some time, she decided to, to go and take care of him. So she went back to the room where he was to attend to him. When she went in, she asked the young boy where his relatives were and the boy cried saying he was the only one with him. 
So she went ahead to take care of her uncle. And while she was taking care of him, she was wondering who the young boy was and where her uncle's family were. She just took care of him and left. When she got home, she kept wondering where his uncle's wife was and who the boy was. Days passed and her uncle finally gained consciousness. When Oluchi walked into the room, her uncle was shocked and ashamed to even look at Oluki. He realized the young girl he made a victim of abuse has grown up to be a doctor. Oluchi never altered a word. She just checked him up and was about leaving the room when her uncle begged her to stay, but she tried resisting. But then too, she wanted to know who the young boy was and where her son was. Her uncle lay there in tears and begging Oluki to forgive him. But Oluchi just stood there asking her uncle where her son she left behind was, with tears flowing down her eyes. But her uncle just kept crying and begging Oluchi for forgiveness. He begged and begged, but Oluchi just wiped her tears and left to her office. The next day, her uncle requested to have a word with Olushi, even though Olushi didn't want to go initially, but she finally did. When she entered inside her uncle's hospital room, she found her uncle in tears and he started begging her once again for forgiveness, put Olushi in tears, tried to leave the room in anger, and her uncle begged her to stay and then told her the young boy was her son she left behind. So Oluki, with tears of joy, went and hugged her son so tight, she was happy to see her son once more. That was when her uncle narrated how her auntie left him and followed rich men when he had stroke. He narrated how she sold most of his properties and left with their children and only left Olushi's son, who was the one taking care of him. Oluchi, being a good person, decided to forgive her uncle and to help take care of him. But sadly, her uncle passed away weeks after. After the burial that she heard remorse about how her auntie ended up in the village with her children, after one of her sugar babies took all her money and ran to the state, leaving her bankrupt and depressed, which led her back to the village. After the burial, she took her kid to her house, and her husband welcomed him into the family, and they all lived happily ever after.